Give Miss Kate McLennan! Hi everyone, hi, how are we all? You good? You good? I um I'm at this point in my life, right guys, where all my friends are getting their shit together. They're all getting their ducks in a row. My ducks are not in a row. My ducks are fucked. <laughs> you know, like my friends are doing shit like buying houses and having children and getting married and washing their sheets every six months. And <laughs> you know, they're doing stuff like buying thermo mixers. Have you heard of thermo mixers? They're buying thermo. For those of you that don't know, they're these like German appliances. They cost two grand. You sit them on the kitchen bench. I don't know how they work. I don't know what you do. You chuck shit into it. You press a button, and I don't know a fucking wedding cake comes out. I'm not sure. They're just like these magical machines for people who are too busy watching my kitchen rules to stir a fucking pot. <laughs> you know, I don't know what they are. But like, they're all doing that shit. They're all getting it together. And it was never supposed to be like that. We were just supposed to be 26 forever. You know, like we just used to ride around Fitzroy, you know, in skirts on our bikes and just eating hummus and pita bread and having sex in tents at Meredith and just <laughs> chugging down the morning after pill like it was nobody's business, you know? <laughs> And I'm still doing that. And um, they're not, they're not, they're doing things like having dinner parties. You know, they're having dinner parties and they say things like, get Kate around, get her around. She's such a dag. She's such good value. Get Kate around. I mean, sure, she's not going to bring any wine. She's not going to remember our kids' names and she's probably going to vomit in the laundry. But get Kate around. It's a very fine line between being a bit of a dag and being the fuck up friend. <laughs> and that line is being 34 years of age. Like I don't have my shit together. Like I, I haven't figured out life yet. Like the other day I went to work with peanut butter on my face. <laughs> it wasn't even from breakfast. <laughs> like I, I haven't figured out boys. Like I once kissed a boy while eating a pie. <laughs> that shit's not fair, you know? He should have bought his own fucking pie. You know, I haven't figured out how to be a girl probably yet. Like, I don't shave the backs of my legs. Not so much because I'm a feminist. I just think, well, fuck it, I can't see it. <laughs> I don't, like, I put makeup on. Like, I put makeup on, but I never take it off. Like, ever. <laughs> never take it off. It just soaks in, just layer upon layer upon layer. I'm just like a really slutty onion. <laughs> But I am, I'm 34, I'm 34, I'm getting old, I'm getting old. You know, everything's starting to drop now that I'm 34. You know, like my cheeks are starting to drop, my chin's starting to drop, my boobs are starting to drop, my standards are starting to drop. I was on the toilet the other day trimming my toenails and I got puffed. <laughs> that shit's not right, that's not fair. And like, I'm, like, I'm at that age. I'm at that age where nobody's interested in my story anymore. Like, the only thing that anyone wants to hear coming out of the mouth of a 34-year-old woman is, I'm engaged or I'm pregnant. No one wants to hear, my mental health's in a really good place right now. <laughs> It's weird though, like, I, you know, I do have one duck in a row. I do have one duck in a row. I have a boyfriend, he's lovely. Um, we met the old fashioned way. Um, shit faced at a nightclub at 3 a.m. And <laughs> oh, when our eyes met across the dance floor, it was just compromise at first sight. It really was, it really was. But we've been together for two years, you know, it's crunch time, it's crunch time, you know, and the voices have started up in my head, you know, I've got one voice just going, don't put all your eggs in this basket. Don't put all your, it could turn to the shit at any moment. Have one foot out the door, keep a second toaster, run a possible campaign to get your eggs harvested. <laughs> it could turn to the shit. And then I've got another voice just going, don't fuck this up, don't fuck this up. If you fuck this up, you could be living in the flats, you could be living in the commission flats with a cat that you never bothered to name, living next door and sharing casseroles on a Tuesday night with a man called Michael who collects Hawthorne figurines and answers the door in the nude, but it's okay because his fat guts covers his knob because he's in a wheelchair. Don't fuck this up! <laughs> Just a little snapshot of what's going on in my mind. Um, but 
like, you know, I, I've been thinking about having a kid. You know, I've been thinking about having a kid because, you know, it's TikTok and the fucking egg shop. Um, so <laughs> I've been thinking about having a kid, you know. And I think having a kid would be good for me. I think, like, being pregnant would be good for me, you know. Like, it would stop me drinking for, like, at least seven months. <laughs> I'd get to wear like elasticated pants. Like an elastic waist is very appealing to me. Like, you know, because there's a lot of grass in there. And you know, I think like, you know, it'd be good because I wouldn't be able to fixate on the stuff that I fixate on. Like, you know, if you've got a kid, you don't have time to sort of, you know, be sitting back and going, oh, how many likes did my photo get on Facebook? Oh, did I make an asshole of myself at that party? Like, I'm too busy trying to keep a kid alive, you know? And that's all I want, just the opportunity to try and keep a kid alive. <laughs> Just for a bit, you know? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? You know, I just think the best way for me to get my head out of my own ass is to push someone else's head out of my vagina. <laughs> You're in love with